cobalt 60. Cobalt 60 is produced by overdosing a sample of cobalt 59 with an excess of neutrons in a nuclear reactor. The cobalt 59 atoms engross some of the neutrons and upsurge their atomic weight by one to produce the radioisotope cobalt 60. As the material rids itself of atomic particles to return to a balanced state, energy is released in the form of gamma rays and sometimes alpha or beta particles. This type of isotope is the strongest form of radiation and is the only type that can pass through human skin. Cobalt-60 is used in the medical industry with the use of gamma rays from the radioisotope Cobalt-60 to treat conditions such as cancer. It is used for radiotherapy for cancer, particularly on brain tumours. Beginning in the 1950s, Cobalt-60 was mainly used in external beam radiotherapy machines, which produced beams of gamma rays which was directed into the patient's body to kill the tumour tissues. Radiotherapy is also extremely precise on where it attacks the tumour tissue because of its concentrated doses and it does not affect the surrounding tissues in the brain. This therapy is more frequently known as gamma knife radiosurgery. Gamma knife radiosurgery distorts or destroys the DNA of tumour cells, causing them to be... To, to be unable to reproduce and grow. The tumour will decrease in size over time. Benefits of using this radioisotope Cobalt-60. Some benefits of using Cobalt-60 include it treats tumours on the human body, the extended shelf life of foods that have been sterilised in this manner, sensitive and precise monitoring equipment, Sterilization of medical slash food supplies. Its radiational emission levels are relatively low, making exposure to workers in an industrial environment safer. Its convenient cost is more efficient for industrial use. And its long half-life means that it can be left within metal objects so that routine checks can be made without replacement. Some problems associated with using Cobalt-60 are it is known to cause cancer, therefore the exposures to gamma radiation from cobalt-60 result in an increased risk of cancer. Cobalt-60 emits such strong gamma rays, external exposure to cobalt-60 is considered a significant threat. There are radioactive waste materials produced during the process of producing cobalt-60 and it is difficult to dispose of spent cobalt-60 because its half-life is 5.3 years. How do the benefits of using Cobalt-60 outweigh the problems associated with using Cobalt-60? The benefits and positives outweigh the negatives because the benefits actually help people, as well as also providing more health benefits and changing lives. While the negatives are still serious and need to be cautioned, the benefits are more useful and can save more lives rather than the negatives.